Hey, it's Chris here from Bow Root Trout Fitters. Today we're going to tie another leech pattern because there's such an effective way to fish the bow, whether as a dead drifted nymph or a streamer. I'm tying on jig hooks today, but you can use standard nymph hooks here. So we've got our bead on there. I'm going to use red thread today because our pattern is going to be a red and black pattern, and this is going to show up and just add to the color. So I'm just dressing the hook. Now we're going to put on our crystal flash. Uh, I'm using a red crystal flash here, just a couple strands. I'm uh, going to tie them on in the middle of the strand, right at the end of the the hook and to secure those on then just fold them back and secure it again and that way we've got four strands going off the back i will just tie that down we're doing this first because now we're putting over our quarter inch scud back and this is going to cover the flash and just kind of keep it all well behaved now this is quarter inch scud back in black but i do also like this pattern using an olive color so we've just secured that down you can see how it folds over the flash it's important that you put a couple tight wraps underneath as you can see me doing here because that's going to keep everything together but also make sure that it stands off the hook nice and straight not going down the curve of the hook you can see how it makes a difference there so next we're going to put on our dubbing we're going to do a dubbing loop here because we want a really thick body uh, it doesn't have to be super long one four or five inches at the most because this is not a long hook I'm just going to secure that front and back and uh, we're going to use this dubbing loop with a special kind of dubbing this is sts trilobal bloody black leech this mimics seal for really buggy body traps a lot of air bubbles and just gives it a lot of movement but it does naturally make a thickly dubbed body but as you can see here i'm putting it on sparse you know don't cram too much dubbing into the loop just nice and sparse like this always separate your dubbing get it a bit wispy we really want the, the shape and the profile but we don't want to overload it with dubbing so we're loading up our dubbing loop we're going to twist it on here and then we're going to start wrapping up the hook you know we're getting caught on the hook point there watch that but again i can clean that up later now you can see already the dubbing is nice and thick and it's got this mixture of like a red ice dub with black very interesting color now as i wrap it up the hook i'm pulling back the extra hairs i don't want to trap anything moving forward and that again is going to give us that nice thick body and keep as much volume as possible all right so we've got to the end of the bead i'm going to just tie that off now to secure my dubbing loop both front and back and uh, then we can safely clip that off when we're done with it now we're not done yet though we still want to build up a nice collar around the bead but you can already see there we've got that nice interesting body so now you can see the red thread when i do a few wraps it really does give me that nice collar and just works with the color scheme here i'm going to whip finish that tie it off and of course i'm going to glue it down and secure it so now the important thing to do is just comb out a lot of this excess dubbing and you know really rough it up get those fibers all going and then comb them back and that'll just give us that nice shape and profile to this leech as you can see it's a very quick and easy tie but it's going to have tons of movement when you get this in the water that scud back is going to flap just like a real leech and that's what gives this a very effective profile i like to fish this any time of year i mean it's great in winter where you got slower water and you need movement but it works all year round now just our last finishing step here we're we're going to clip off that scud back with a nice rounded tail just to try to make things look as realistic as possible. If you're looking for a simple leech that you can dead drift or swing, it's hard to beat Willie's Fruit Roll-Up. This year we're really focusing on flies that we would fish ourselves in the rivers here. So think of it as a guide's choice to fly tying this year. You should get a lot of great effective patterns. And don't forget to go to bowrivertroutfitters.com. We've got all the materials you need. You can order them online and we'll send them out. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you soon.